I'm probably one and a half years late with this trend, but I've decided I want to try my luck with embroidery. I don't know what got me the other night. I was on my computer and I think I saw someone embroidering something. So I was like, I really, really want to try that as well. So I first went into Amazon and just typed in embroidery kit because I don't have a hoop, I don't have embroidery needles, I have nothing at home. So I went onto Amazon and to be very honest, I didn't like any of the patterns they had there. I didn't really like the way the quality looked as well. And then I went onto Etsy and oh my God, it blew my mind. Etsy has a huge variety of embroidery kits. They have stuff for starters or beginners for me. Then they have intermediate, they have advanced, they have only PDF copies to download for new patterns when you already have your kit at home. They have whole kits if you don't have anything at home. So what I was looking for. So they have a massive variety of items to pick from. And it literally took me two hours to pick an item and yes this might have also been because I am a very indecisive person <laughs> but I finally could decide on a kit and of course it has a floral design so it came in this little pouch here it only took like three days to deliver and I'm gonna put all of the details of the little Etsy shop down below so it is called Boho Craft Studio and the kit comes with a bamboo hoop it also came with this little leaflet here which is a step-to-step -step guide on what to do and also how to do the different kind of stitches and then we have this here which should be the needles the thread and the fabric first of all here we have the pattern that i'm gonna do it has this kind of gray brown background and then it has this kind of like warm autumnal fl floral design on it and then you see all of the different stitches that you need for every flower then we have our different threads as well which I really like the colors of them. I think they're beautiful. And then we have the fabric that you need to stitch on. So you can see the pattern is already printed on it. And once you're done with your design, you can either wash off the ink or it also disappears with heat. And this is everything. That's everything that comes in the kit. It was around 16 pounds. I think it was an offer. I am a little bit worried about the small details on here. Like there are these leaves and flowers that are really tiny. And I have never done embroidery before and I'm a little bit scared <laughs> that I'm gonna mess these ones up. But I'm gonna move over to the kitchen table now and then we're gonna just try it together and see how we go. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna start off with putting the fabric into this hoop and you just have to unscrew the top here and then place it on top of here. So that is my flower that I wanna have on the top. And then I just put the bigger hoop on top but I'm not sure about this, like, can you see the folding lines in here? I probably, I hope they get away when I wetten it later. I think that looks quite good. And I was already looking at the pattern and I think I'm gonna start with those brown twigs here um, because they have the outline stitch and the outline stitch looks to be the easiest one to start off with. So I'm gonna do these ones and it says three strands. Um, I did watch some YouTube videos before and a, lot of, and a lot of people make the mistake that they take the whole thread instead of just the three strands as it says. So what you need to do is you just pick three of these strands here, which is a little bit fiddly, but it basically makes the thread much thinner and easier to work with. So I probably have to get it off here first. Okay, it's actually not that easy to get, get it off. <laughs> kind of twists up a little bit. And just a heads up, I'm by no means an expert in anything crafty, DIY. I just find it quite fun to do and very relaxing. I got my three strands here. And now the tricky part is to get it into one of these three needles. They all look like they're the same size, I so just pick any. I really find it hard to get one of them through. How the hell am I supposed to get three into here? Okay, I got two in. One more to go. Oh, it takes so long. Oh, finally, I got it. Okay, now it says to make a knot at the end. That's the knot. <sighs> Let's get started, I would say. Oh my God, I'm really nervous. Okay, I'm gonna start with this brown one here. Oh my God, it's really hard to find where to go. Oh my God, I feel like I already messed it up. What happened here? What? Oh my God, I... <laughs> what is this? Oh my God, it's the first stitch and I already messed it up. Oh my God, what's going on here? Oh no, I think one of the threads came out of the needle. Great start, Anna, great start. Okay, back to square one. Second try. Okay, that looks better. Much better. I don't know how far this is though. Like how far do I need to go out? Like this maybe? Because we are going back into the middle. So I feel like I need to give it a bit of room. And now I'm gonna come back out in the middle here. 
Okay, I think I made one little mistake that I came out on side, but I think you have to kind of literally go through the thread from the previous stitch to kind of get a nice and straight line. Otherwise you kind of get like a zigzag line in a way. Oh no, I'm so confused. I don't know what I've done. I kind of like, how? How does that work? Oh my God, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna work my way back now to these little twigs that come kind of reach out on the side. Okay, this is the first twig done and in my head I was like, it would be great if I could finish this project tonight. Wow. <laughs> this little twig here took me about a good 10 to 15 minutes, but I'm really proud, look at that. I embroidered my first little twig. I really like it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn this around now. Just gonna somehow knot it up, I guess. Kind of like go over another one and then just make a little knot. So I want to move on now to these yellow flowers here. And these flowers have the so-called satin stitch. And I saw in some videos that they always started in the middle and then worked away to one way and then worked away to the other side after they finished, let's say, the right side of the petal. I really like this kind of like mustardy yellow that they have. On the picture, it's much more vibrant, but I actually really like the mustard yellow. No, do you see what I mean? It's, this is what's happening all the time, because I feel like the thread is so long, it kind of nods up. If you are a professional in embroidering, please tell me what I'm supposed to do. And I can't undo it anymore. Ugh. Okay, I'll be right back. I probably have to pick this apart now. I just cut it off. I could not unpick it. <laughs> that did not work. This flower took me way too long and it already starts to get dark outside. So we're gonna finish this flower off now with this French knot. Let me show you on the, on here. So the French knot is, you, bring the needle out of the fabric, wrap the thread twice around the needle and then push it back in where you came out in the first place. And that's also where you should have a little knot then. So I'm kind of go out. Okay, I'm already confused. So you twist it around two times and then push it back in where we came from. Yeah, that didn't do anything. <laughs> okay, now let's try again. It's not how this works. I'm gonna try and like, as on the picture, go really far down here and just twist it around here and then go back in. See, I feel like when I go back in, it just slips through it. So I'm not sure if I twist it in the right way. I'm not sure what this did. Okay, let me, let me try if I can fix this. Nope, well done. <laughs> it completely came out again. What am I doing wrong? I don't get it. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, I'm gonna watch a video and then I I'll try it again. A few moments later. I'm out here and then they said, point the needle away from your work. One, two. You know what, I feel like she did it like with something a bit higher up. One, two. No. Oh my God, I don't know. I need to watch it again. And then turn your needle. Make sure you're holding on to this end here. Okay, I think I got it now. Again, one, two, back in. <gasps> Got it. Oh my god, oh my god, this is my, my first little French, um, how you call it? French knot. That looks really good. You're really proud of that. Okay, let's move on. Let's do another one. Yes, I got it. Oh, that looks really cool. I really like that. And with that, my first flower is finished. I would say for tonight, I'm gonna finish all of the twigs kind of like all of the twigs around here. And I'm gonna finish all of the yellow flowers. And then tomorrow we can start on the bigger flowers, on the orange ones and like the leaves and stuff like that. I'm gonna sit down now, probably watch something on Netflix and I'll see you back tomorrow. The next morning. Last night I was working on my design for another, I think, I'm not gonna lie, four hours or five hours, something like that. And that's how far I got 
Not very far, <laughs> to be very honest. I finished all of the twigs and the little flowers um, on the twigs as well. And then I also done all of the yellow flowers and the white flowers here. For the little um, orange flowers here, I have done French knots for the smaller ones and then um, satin stitches as well for those bigger berries here. Also, if you can see, some of the pattern here is a little bit washed away because Clever as I was last night, I had a glass of water on the table and spilled it like all over here and some of the ink disappeared because it's a not waterproof ink which you're supposed to wash away at the end but thankfully not everything washed away, it just bled a little bit. But yeah, I would say let's continue. I was thinking of doing those little daisies here. So they have different colors, so some white ones and some orange ones and I would say I start with the white ones where you basically bring your needle out at the base of your lazy daisy and then back in at the same hole and then you have this like loop so you don't don't pull it tight and then where you want to have your pedal you go out again and then kind of secure it with um, a stitch going out and then back in at the same hole and then you have like this one leaf here I hope that makes sense I'm gonna start with this one here so you go out at the center and then back in, in the same hole. And then you leave a little bit of a loop, kind of however big you want your daisy to be. So kind of like this, I guess. And then to secure the petal, you have to go out at the end through the petal. Oh my God, it's really difficult. <laughs> and then back in the same hole, but kind of go around the petal I hope that makes any sense. I'm sorry, this is not a tutorial. <laughs> I'm just doing this my first time as well. So I'm just trying, trying my best. What do you think, my first petal? Um, I think I have to practice a bit more, but yeah, that's kind of the concept. Okay, I'm gonna work my way around now. And these are the petals done. And now we have to do a little French knot in the middle. And then that's the first flower done. That was actually really quick. I'm really surprised and it looks really cute. Look at that. Very adorable. One thing I can definitely say, once you've done some flowers and some stitches, you get used to them so quickly. So at the start, it seems really confusing and really difficult. But once you've done them like a few times, they're actually quite simple. And this is the first flower finished. And I'm gonna work my way around now and fill out all of the other flowers. I'm gonna make some in like an orangey color and then some in just white. Okay, I just finished another flower here and I have to say I found the second flower much more difficult to do than the first one I don't know why um, I think the most struggle I have is when you finish a petal for example this was my first one here and then you accidentally pull something on the back you pull in the petal and it doesn't look as good anymore so I really struggled with this one I have to be very honest but yeah I'm gonna finish the rest now and then we we'll probably for you in a early second for me in I would say an hour <laughs> we see each other and continue with the leaves or the big flowers, we'll see. One eternity later. Well, I'm done with the flowers now and it literally took me an hour to do them. Not my favorite stitch that I've learned so far. I'm gonna move on with the leaves and I thought I'm gonna do the big ones first and these ones are with a leaf stitch and then the smaller ones have a satin stitch. So I'm gonna start and the way you do it is you start at the tip of the leaf and you go down a little bit I'm not even sure how far, like this far maybe. Go back up to the top, right next to where your first stitch was, like here. You need to go, yeah, good question, where do you need to go next? And then just below where we've just put in the bottom stitch. And then we do the same thing on the other side, so you kind of alternate between the two sides. And it's supposed to give you this nice leafy shape. I feel like I should have started way higher up with this bottom stitch. I feel like I have to redo this. I hope not. I feel like I've not done this right. Can you see? It's kind of like really long and on the pattern. It looks like the lines are much neater and like smaller. So I feel like I shouldn't have gone down so far with my initial stitch. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna unpick this again. Like I unpick literally everything I start <laughs> and then have to give it a second try, but yay. Doesn't matter, it's fine gonna take me another 10 minutes to get this unpicked. <laughs> okay, this time we're just gonna go down a tiny bit like here, I would say. I hope that works a bit better. One thing I do wish they had though, 
was uh, another green color. They only provided one and I wish they had like two so I can do the leaves in like different green colors. But otherwise I really like the stitch. Can you see how it's like nicely going down? Kind of like a leaf structure. And see, this is what happens to me all the time and it's so annoying. It's kind of, I must pull some of the thread out and then I have like so many of them kind of peeking out. And I know it's just the back, it doesn't matter, but it's still annoying because I mean, what, what is all of this? Okay. Look at that. That is my first leaf completed. I really like it. It looks really pretty. I'm gonna finish off all of the rest of the leaves now. And then we just have the big flowers left. So I would say I'll do those ones and then we see each other back for the final big flowers. And it is a lot of work, honestly, but it's really good fun. I really enjoy the process. Okay, we're nearly done. We just need to do the flowers in the middle. And for that, it says to do long and short stitches. And in here it describes long and short stitches as like, as you can see, kind of like one long one, one short one, one long one, one short one. And then you fill the gaps with the other color. So for this one, we're gonna do the dark orange on the inside. The outside, I'm gonna do with like this light orange color. And then the middle, we're gonna do with those French knots again. I'm not 100% sure how this is going to work. Yeah, so we do kind of like one long one. And then we do like one shorter one, kind of like halfway to where the long one was. I feel like I've done the long ones maybe a bit too short, but hey ho, it doesn't matter. And we just work our way around the flower. So this is the dark orange, I really like it. It looks a bit like a sun. Um, and now it doesn't really say how to continue just to kind of like weave in the other ones in the same way. So I guess I just work my way up in the same length pattern. I'm gonna knot it up now. The back already looks really messy. And then I'm gonna finish the flowers and then we're finally done. Honestly, this took so long, but I think it's really beautiful. I'm very happy with the design and like how it turned out. I'm, I'm genuinely really proud of myself. I didn't think that I would be able to make something like that. It always looked so difficult, but yeah, I think it actually so far turned out really nicely. Well, I just took out all of the threads because I did not like the way it started to look. So I kind of did another layer of orange because I felt like the dark orange, because I felt like it didn't go up high enough and it just, it just didn't look good. It just looked really messy. Everything else is so neat and tidy. And I feel like this stitch with this kind of like half up, half down works nicely if you have like a straight line. But because this is curved, the gaps get wider and wider and it's really hard to fill them. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same satin stitch like this one, one way around and then do another way where just do like every second or so to kind of like fade it in a bit. Yeah, so I'm much happier with that now. I've just done one circle of like even stitches and then a few longer ones just in between afterwards. And I feel like that makes it much more tidy. And now I have my lighter color. I might actually do shorter ones just to connect the long ones. And then I'm gonna, the second row, I'm gonna go all the way out. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I may or may not have changed it. Another time. I think like the third or fourth time I picked it, but I'm very happy with it now. So what I've done is instead of going um, kind of like short stitches and then long, I just did long straight away. So I kind of unpicked the short ones again. And I think that looks really good. And it's like satin stitches. So the same way I did the yellow ones. So yeah, very happy with that. I'm gonna finish this off, the two flowers, and then I see you on the other side. Many, many hours later, I am finally done with my embroidering. First of all, let me show you how it turned out. So this is the final piece. I'm honestly so happy and chuffed with the results. I think it looks so beautiful. I'm so excited to finally hang it up. Funnily enough, I think the least favorite ones of my flowers are the big orange ones in the center. I really love the little twigs with the orange berries on it. And I, even though they were very difficult to make, I also like those little daisies. I think they're very cute. 
The first thing to say about this little piece that I made, it took me a total of 15 hours to make this. It might be because I'm a beginner, but it took me way, way longer than I thought it would. I watched Vampire Diaries at the same time, and I think I watched 15 episodes or something stupid like that. If I would rate the kit, I would probably give it an 8 out of 10. I do like the design. I did like the explanations of the guide. I actually only used a video for the French knot and everything else I could do from the guide. But what I really didn't like was the thread. It might be that every thread is like that. I'm not quite sure. But the amount of times it got caught somewhere, you saw it in a video before where it kind of, when I tried to pull it through, it wouldn't fully pull through. And then you had like a little bundle of thread and then I tried to unpick it and it wouldn't work. And the amount of thread I had to throw away because I couldn't properly use it. I was thinking I really like this DIY and kind of like follow me along while I try new things. So I saw online a video where a girl was explaining how to crochet a little crop top. And I thought maybe I could film that and just take you along as well if you want to. So let me know down in the comments if that's some kind of content you enjoy watching. And yeah, otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every Wednesday. And if you haven't seen my latest video, you can find the link in my end card. And yeah, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.